Hello, it's me, Kat, and I'm here today with a gift for you, and this is our Friday Patreon video. It is a video from one of our well over 600 videos that we have. I just take one from the back and send it out here for you to enjoy. Um, it will still be relevant, of course. All the videos are relevant. And um, if you decide that you want to receive one every day, five days a week, all year long, then come sign up. Go to patreon.com and sign up. You have three tiers to choose from. The first one is $5 a month, and that gives you a video every single day, except Saturday and Sunday, but every single weekday, Monday through Friday, um, a fresh new one. Um, if you go to the second tier, which is $25, that's a mentoring from me once a month, personally helping you through our system, um, and you get the videos, so that's pretty cool. And then the third video, the highest tier that I have right now is $50 a month. And that's for those of you who are looking for a little bit more. You want two uh, personal mentorings a month of 25 minutes, and then you wanna be able to access the video. So these are the three tiers in Patreon for you. I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope to see you soon on Patreon. Hello, patrons. What you get out of the Fly Lady system is up to you. I know that I've told you you're the alpha, and you are, and you can make decisions, of course. And you can take the Fly Lady system, and you can move it around and change the days, but what you get out of it is up to you. That means if you decide that you just don't feel like it, you're not feeling it today, and you don't do your morning routine, you don't do your zone, you skip your zone all week long, not because something came up or you planned it that way, but because you just weren't feeling it, then you're not gonna get anything out of the Fly Lady system. To have something really happen in 90 days, you need to do the Fly Lady system thoroughly for 90 days. That means you have to get up in the morning and do your morning routine before the children. You have to get up early. Backing that up, that means you have to go to bed on time. Even if you don't sleep well that night, you still have to get up the next morning. If you had to go clock in at a job, you'd have to do the same thing. So get yourself in bed at night. Do your before bed routine. Make sure that you're getting that plan made. And that's the key. You know, I've told you before, that's the key to the Fly Lady system is planning. So plan it and do it. Execute and you will have success. Now, the first thing you have to do before you exe execute is change your mind. You have to change your mind and say, you know what, this time I'm going to do the Fly Lady system and I'm going to do it right and I'm going to do it all the way through. I'm not saying you have to be perfect and I want you to know that with per progress is relapse that happens. There's going, to be a day, there's going to be a day or two, but you can't fall into a pit and stay there and expect Fly Lady system to work for you. So determine before you begin that you're going to do the Fly Lady system this time and you're going to do it the way I tell you to do it because that's an easy way. I don't want you working for 30 minutes when I say 15. I don't want you working for 15 when I say 10. I don't want you doing it in the evening when I say do it in the morning. I don't want you to not run your dishwasher every night when I say to run your dishwasher every night. I don't want to hear the buts, but cat, it was only half full, run it anyway. But cat, I'm not tired, go to bed anyway. But cat, but cat, stop that, stop that. The other thing that you're going to be doing beside your routines, and let's talk about those again, morning routine for yourself and then your children. That means you have to be available with your children. If they're little, you have to assist them. If they're bigger kids, you have to oversee them. And if they're teenagers, you have to inspect what you expect. And even some of the middle kids, middle-agers, you have to inspect what you expect. And you can't expect them to leave the bathroom clean if you left it dirty. Right? It starts with you, your example, and your lead. So kids' routines after yours. So after that, you're going to put in a load of laundry every morning. If you don't have a load of laundry, you don't have to put in a load of laundry. Hello. <laughs> um, if you don't have any paper to go through, you don't have to go through paper. But if you know you have paper to go through, pick up an inch. Another alternative for people who are overwhelmed by the idea of an inch is go for two minutes. But go. Go. You're not handling this paper. You're just sorting it into throwaway and action. That's it. Putting it in your action box. The third thing you're going to do is you're going to do your after dinner routine not by yourself with anyone else who eats the dinner with you. If that's your children, if that's your spouse, if that's your roommate, everybody cleans up together. 
okay? And then the last part is your before bed routine. We talked about that before. You've got to get in there and do that before bed routine. If you're too tired after you put the children to bed, then you need to do your before bed routine before the children, at least most of it. Maybe you'll leave off brushing your teeth, but maybe you want to take your bath or shower in the evening and you're too tired. Take it before you give the kids their bath. If that's the way it has to be, that's the way it has to be. It's in the evening, it's every day. Now I'm not saying you have to bathe or shower in the evening, you can certainly do that in the morning. But I'm saying that if that's when it is and that's in your plan, then do it. Make the plan and do it. But know yourself. If you don't know yourself, how can you do these things? If you don't know, you know what, I'm tired every single night, then don't enforce on yourself that you have to do an evening routine after the children when you know you're not gonna do it. Change it, know yourself, do it before. There's nothing wrong with that. The other thing is to look at, before you go to bed, look at your planner. What have you planned for tomorrow? You're gonna to coach yourself about that. If you haven't planned anything, you better get on it. You gotta have a day planned. You can't say, I'm gonna go into the zone in my living room and I'm gonna declutter. Because guess what's gonna happen when you get in there? You're gonna walk in that room and it's gonna be overwhelming and you're gonna say, I don't know where to start. You were so excited about it till you got in there. But if you know I'm going to declutter the table between the two rocking chairs, then you know you have a place to zone in and you can declutter that. That doesn't seem so daunting. But if you say I'm gonna declutter and you walk in and there's books on the bookshelf that are falling out and there's uh, electronics that are flooding over and there's um, laundry on the couch and there's trash and shoes and things all over the place, plus the table between the two chairs, you're not gonna know where to start. So start somewhere, make a plan, okay? And then after you've worked your zone, you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna dive straight in to our weekly blessing, or our weekly plan, our basic weekly plan. So on Monday, that's the weekly home blessing hour. If you have children and they're at home with you, they can assist. They won't do a great job, but they'll help. Go to bring the garbage cans to mommy, whatever. They can help. Um, the little garbage cans, little things like that, or give them a rag and let them to pretend to, to go with you. Don't use your children as an excuse not to do the fly lady system. Use your head, know yourself, know your children. If you have a Klingon, <laughs> like my daughter Karen was, you know, I had to give her something that kept her really close to me. An oatmeal box and a wooden spoon. Here, you make cookies while mama does this or whatever. And she's right there. I can look right down my leg where she's hanging on and talk to her. And I can stand in one spot to declutter because that's what you're doing anyway. You're not running around decluttering. You're standing in one spot. If you have to clean, you're still in one room. You're not running all over the place. So don't let your children be an excuse. Errand day, if you have kids and it's difficult to go on errand day, then make sure you find a place that will deliver your groceries or that you can pick your groceries up. Now, most places, no matter how small, have a Walmart and almost every one of them have a pickup service. If it's not in your area, it will be soon, I guarantee you. It is a wonderful thing. If your Walmart doesn't offer that, see what store does. Having your kids strapped in their seat, when you pull up, you call them on the phone, you say, I'm here, or you type it on your phone on the way in, and say you're coming, and they're there within two minutes, put your stuff in the trunk and you go home, is a whole lot better than going up and down the aisle with three kids who are running and screaming and one that's crying in the basket. You can't even pay attention to your list, much less stick to a budget. Okay, so this is how you do the fly lady system. It's it, What you do is up to you. What you get out of it is up to you. Make up your mind that you're going to do it. Find a way, use your intelligence, plan it out. That's it for today. I hope I wasn't too hard on you, but I really, really want you to succeed. It's not about power for me. It's about power for you, Alpha. Have a wonderful day, and always remember that you are beautiful, so be beautiful.